Hi friends, today I'll show you how to easily replace the standard Google TV Home Launcher on your Android TV box with the modern and convenient Project TV Launcher. It's one of the best launchers if you want more control and style customization. Let's go! First, we need to download the launcher itself. If you're using Google TV Home, go to the Apps section. In the search bar, use Voice Search or type to find Project TV Launcher. Project TV Launcher Next, install the Project TV Launcher app. Open the app and complete the initial setup. Everything is simple and clear. Allow Project TV Launcher to read available TV program info on your device, grant notification access and special permissions. Now we need to activate Project TV Launcher. Find the app in the list and toggle it on. Then press OK. Now let's configure our launcher. The app is successfully installed. I'm using a TV box with Google TV Home, and I've installed Project TV Launcher. This is a much better solution. It runs smoother and faster than Google TV Home. Next, we need to activate this launcher in special settings. Go to your Android TV box settings. Once the settings menu opens, go to system settings, then navigate to accessibility. Find the app Project TV Launcher. As you can see, it's turned off. We need to turn it on. Done. It's enabled now, but the setup isn't finished yet. If we press the home or back button on the remote, we're still taken back to Google TV Home. Let's fix that now. Go back to Project TV Launcher and open the app again. If for some reason it doesn't appear in the Apps section, use the search again, Voice or Manual, to find Project TV Launcher. Project TV Launcher. Since the app is already installed, just launch it. Now we need to lock in this app so it won't switch back to Google TV Home. Go to the Launcher Settings. We need to open Project TV Launcher Settings. Go to Main Settings. There's an important button called Override Current Launcher. This option determines which launcher will be used by default. If we activate this toggle, Project TV Launcher will always load as the default. So remember, this toggle sets Project TV Launcher as your main one. Activate the toggle. Now go back to the main screen and test it. Press the Home or Back button. As you can see, I'm pressing Home and Back. Nothing happens. We've successfully locked our launcher. It will now work consistently and override the laggy, freezing Google TV Home. Personally, I don't like Google TV Home. I always use Project TV Launcher. It's lightweight, fast, and perfect even for low-end TV boxes. Project TV Launcher is a powerful tool for customizing your Android TV experience. If you're tired of the default interface, you should definitely try it. It's fast, stylish, and highly customizable. If this video was helpful, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and write in the comments, which launcher do you use? See you next time. Bye.